Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Divi Nation. Divi Nation is a podcast and YouTube show by Elegant Themes, a proud leader in the premium WordPress theme and plugin market. As always, the goal of Divi Nation is really simple. We want to provide you with the knowledge, insights, and supportive community that you need to be successful with WordPress and Divi. I'm your host, Nathan B. Weller, and as your host, it's my job to facilitate that success. So to that end, in today's Divi Nation short, I'll be sharing with you a simple but very useful Divi mobile menu hack, which allows you to collapse nested sub-menu items, making your mobile menu more manageable for your mobile visitors. Let's get into it. In this Divi quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to collapse nested sub-menu items on Divi's mobile menu. Uh, so this is a nested item right here. So landing page um, is my parent item, parent menu item, and then below that we have two uh, sub-menu items. And so when we shrink this window down, it becomes a mobile menu. And so we have these two nested submenu items. And what we want to do, um, and what we will be doing in this is collapsing those so that this menu is a bit more manageable because if you have several parent items like this one with multiple submenu items on a mobile view, it can start to become a little bit unwieldy and hard to navigate um, for your mobile visitors. So that's where collapsing these sub items so that you have to click on a little plus symbol that'll appear right here, um, really comes in handy uh, for making your mobile menus just a bit more uh, navigatable. So here's how we're gonna do that. First, you wanna grab the code snippet that we've provided you. Um, that's available in the blog post for this Divi Nation episode. Um, it's by our very own Dustin Falgout. He provided this code snippet. Um, he's uh, one of our longtime support guys and our current QA uh, person. Uh, so if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, to get to that code snippet, just check your video description, whether that's in the status update or in the video description um, for a link to the post. Once you've copied the code snippet, and this is what that looks like right here. I've got it in a little notepad, so I'm going to copy that and then head to the back end. So in the back end here, what I want to do is go to Divi Theme Options. And then in my Divi theme options tabs, I'm gonna go over to integration. So I'm here in integration. And then down here, you're gonna see add code to the body. So this box right here is where I wanna paste that code snippet. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that here. And then save there. So once I've saved, I wanna go back to the front end and make sure that I'm in um, a mobile view. I'm going to refresh that page on the front end. And now you see when I drop that down, there's a little plus symbol right here next to my parent uh, menu item. And when I click that menu item, my two sub menu items come out. So this collapsible menu, as I said, at the top of this is, is going to make it a lot easier for your mobile visitors to quickly navigate um, larger menus with more sub items. Well, that's all for this episode of Divi Nation. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to reading and responding to your feedback. Before signing off, I just want to give another thank you to Dustin Falgout, our longtime support staffer and current QA guy who wrote the code snippet for this quick tip. If you have any questions about anything that we covered in this episode, feel free to drop those questions in the comment section wherever you're watching or listening to this. That might be Facebook, YouTube, or our blog, and I'll do my best to follow up with you in a timely manner. So you can also email me directly at podcast at elegantthemes.com. And once again, thank you for tuning in, everyone. I look forward to seeing you around the community. As always, we'll be back next week with another episode of Divination.